Hello guys, today we are talking about cycled split squat jump as per NSCA standards and the intensity of this exercise is high and the trajectory or the direction of jump is vertical. This is under the category of jump in place. I'm going to give you a setup. When you look at the athlete from front, the back leg of the athlete should be in line with the center line of the body. Whereas when you look at the athlete from the side, the front knee and front hip should be at approximately 90 degree angle while performing this exercise. There shouldn't be any gaps between jump and after every jump we have to switch our leg. This exercise can be performed with two methods, one with using our hands and also without any hand movement. Okay? And about the landing, we should land in the same place that we started with, the same position that we started with rather. I'm going to give you five reps with hand movement, looks like this. No gaps in between jumps and switching leg after every jump. Go down, hand movement. Okay. And without hand movement, we can keep our hands stationary and perform the exercise in the same way. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you soon with more exercises at the same place, anytime fitness sake. Bye-bye.